Good afternoon. I'm Randy Noblesa from Marinduque, province of the Philippines. I'm here to present uh, the research paper entitled Tertullian Pamana, Cultural Mapping in Rural Marinduque for Culture-Based Economy and Creative Industry. Before I begin, I'd like to thank the organizers of the second international conference on rural socioeconomic transformation or reset. So I begin with an abstract and I'm going to share my screen. The paper problematizes the conduct of cultural mapping in the rural province in the archipelago, given the COVID-19 pandemic. Comparing the face-to-face -face with the remote and online conduct of cultural mapping, as in the case of Mugpug and Buena Vista before the pandemic and the experience of Santa Cruz and Gasan during the global health emergency. Through the lens of culture-based economy and creative econ uh, industry framework, the four-part webinar series dubbed as Tertullian Pamana provides the crucial insights to the heritage awareness, sensitivity, and safeguarding. Marinduque State College Culture and Arts uh, unit or MSCCA started anew with the Tertullian Pamana last May with the food culture in Marinduque. In coordination with the MSC uh, School of Industrial Technology faculty researcher and graduate scholar from the Philippine Women's University presented the initial results of his graduate thesis along with the local government of Mugpog Tourism and Cultural Office shared the ongoing cultural mapping project during the episode one of Tertullian Pamana. With an evolved learning of uh, Tertullia for gathering amidst the pandemic and new normal state of affairs, the MSCCA advanced the appreciation of local studies, cultural worker and heritage researchers. The next episode was streamed live through MSCC TV and YouTube channel of the Lone State College in the province every Friday uh, during the month of May or Heritage Month. So from 11.30 to 12.30 p.m. For the said episode, the uh, Buena Vista Culture Mapping through its initial output of a coffee table book was reviewed by a social anthropology scholar from the University of Baguio. By May 21, the Santa Cruz cultural mapping team, represented by the cultural mapping administrator, discussed about their local culture profile. Likewise, the last episode about Gasan cultural mapping team, led by the lead mapper and editor, discussed the results of their community validation held last April and May. The MSCCA had the been involved in cultural mapping since 2018 in Mugpog and Buena Vista. He has been a co-facilitator of the National Commission for Culture and the Arts, or NCCA, Subcommission on Cultural Heritage. They also facilitated the local mappers training in Santa Cruz and Gasan last October 2020 and February 2021 in Santa Cruz and Gasan respectively. The most, series, the most recent series of virtual uh, Tertullian Pan Panitikan took place last April 18, 23, and 30 in celebration of the National Literature Month. With the first episode of Tertullian Pamana hosted by MSC, Mugpog Examura Study Center was uh, held last May 7 to usher the celebration of the National Heritage Month. So let me share my uh, screen. So to continue, the title of the paper, Tertullian Pamana, let us break this down into several parts, such as cultural mapping, rural marinduque, culture-based economy, and creative industry. So the contents are as follows. So there would be a short introduction a discussion of materials and methods. Uh, there's also a part about results and discussion, followed by the conclusion and recommendation 
short bibliography and an acknowledgement. So the introduction, let me just say that the year 2021 is an international year of creative economy for sustainable development and global recovery. So the introduction would be divided further to the recent uh, reformulation of the meaning of Tertulia and what is it like at the rural Marinduque setting, one of the islands in the Philippine archipelago, and uh, the, the discussion about culture-based economy based on uh, United Kingdom's definition and also some insights from South Korea, and finally about creative industry. So about uh, Tertulia, uh, the meaning of Tertulia in the Iberian Peninsula, specifically in Spain and also in Portugal, is a social gathering with literary or artistic overtones, especially in Iberia or in Latin America. Tertulia also means an informal meeting of people to talk about their state of affairs. So in Marinduque, since we have a MSC Culture and Arts Unit, and even prior to that, we also have the Centro Nawika at Cultura or Center for Language and Culture. We already have a uh, gathering without the pandemic. At first, with the Tertulia Pangwika or Tertulia about uh, language studies. And this time, uh, we also had a Tertulia or gathering about. Uh, literary studies or Tertullian Pampanitikan. And uh, the topic of this paper is about Tertullian Pamana or Tertullia about heritage studies. So next is uh, about cultural mapping. So according to Cook and Taylor in 2013, basically cultural mapping is regarded as an approach used to identify, record, and use cultural resources and activities for building communities, unquote. So from the de facto Ministry of Culture, the National Commission for Culture and the Arts consider that mapping of the cultural resources plays a critical role in municipal development planning since it effectively achieves a first step in the cultural map planning process to identify and understand a community's resources. Correspondingly, cultural resources mapping allows a community to identify where they are what resources they have, and can play a significant role in assessing where they want to be. So a word or two about uh, the setting of this uh, research. So it's in the heart of the Philippine archipelago, the heart-shaped island of Marinduque. So according to the excerpts of the history of Marinduque, the island of Marinduque is lying between Bondok Peninsula in the east and Mindoro Island in the west and Tayabas province in the north, and Tablas Island in the far south. At the beginning of the 17th century, Marinduque was included under the administration of Mindoro when the latter was separated from Bunbon, now called Batangas, and made into a corregimento. Tagalog is the dialect spoken in Marinduque and the same uh, language spoken in the neighboring Mindoro. So as you can see, uh, this is the uh, artistic map rendered by our local artist, uh, Anto Monteagudo. So this is uh, highlighting the cultural icons of the island province of Marinduque with the couple of battle, which uh, uh, what the victory in the province against the uh, Americans during the Filipino-American War. So namely the Battle of Pai and the Battle of Pulan Lupa. So about creative economy, so according to the 2013 report on creative economy, it should be seen therefore as a complex system that derives its economic value from the facilitation of economic evolution, a system that manufactures attention, complexity, identity, and adaptation through the primary resources of creativity. So the perspective that centers on the interplay between culture and economy has also been expressed in the notion of cultural economy. There are several understandings of the term cultural economy in the academic circles. 
one of these bears a close resemblance to the concept of cultural industries. The cultural economy comprises all those sectors in the modern capitalism that cater to the consumer demands for amusement, ornamentation, self-affirmation, social display, and so on, and have high symbolic value as opposed to a purely utilitarian purpose. So the following tables were adapted from the same uh, material. So like the, at least there are six classification system about cultural and creative industry. So one of the models is in the United Kingdom with the Department of uh, Digital and Culture, Media, and Sports model. So it includes advertising, architecture, arts and antiques, crafts, design, fashion, film and video, music, performing arts, publishing, software, television, and radio. So the next uh, model is the symbolic text. So this... Uh, identifies at least three uh, forms of cultural or creative industry. One is the core cultural industry. The next one is peripheral cultural industry. And the last one is the borderline cultural industries. So there is also the concentric circles model. So as developed from the symbolic uh, text model, there's also a core creative arts and there are other core cultural industries. But there is, at the same time, a wider cultural industries. And finally, one more category about related industries. So apart from uh, those three models, there are three more. So one is from the world intellectual property or the copyright model. So there is also the category of core copyright industries. There's also a partial copyright industries and there is an interdependent copyright industries. So the interdependent uh, copyright industries would have to rely to both uh, core and partial copyright industries to function properly. And uh, second to the last is the UNESCO Institute for Statistics model, which uh, we're going to share the, the matrix. So there is uh, such a thing as industries in the core cultural domains and industries in the expanded cultural domains. So the National Commission for Culture and the Arts also follows this uh, model, and it is adopted by the Philippine Statistics Authority. And the last model for creative, cultural, and culture-based uh, economies, the Americans for the Arts model. So again, going full circles, uh, it's about advertising, architecture, art schools, services, design, film, museum, zoos, music, performing arts, publishing, television, radio, and visual arts. So before we go to the statistics uh, model from UNESCO, there's also this uh, concentric circles model, which illustrates the four uh, categories of core cultural expression, related industries, other creative industries, and wider cultural industries. Of course, in the center, like an egg yolk, is the core cultural expression. And the outer ring is other creative industries and farther wider cultural industries and the farthest related industries. So this is the UNESCO framework for cultural statistic domains, which is also adapted by the uh, NCCA. So there are at least six cultural domains, uh, namely cultural and natural heritage, performing and celebration, visual arts and crafts, books and press, uh, five audiovisual and interactive media, and finally uh, design and creative services. And apart from these six cultural domains, there are also two related domains about tourism, and sports and recreation. So there's also a vertical uh, dimension. So apart from the six cultural domains and the two related domains, there's also the intangible cultural heritage. And uh, from the bottom, education and training, then archiving and preserving, and finally, equipment and supporting materials. And it is uh, paralleled by uh, the same in the related 
domains such as intangible cultural heritage, education and training, archiving and preserving equipment and supporting materials. So, uh, we proceed with the materials and methods. So, in the Philippines, there's also already a, a toolkit for cultural mapping. This was published in 2019. So, it's a guide for participatory cultural mapping in local communities. So, we'll be discussing this very briefly and talk about the main corpus of the research about the subject that uh, created the content for creative cultural development, uh, which had a catalog for the four episodes of the Tertullian Pamana. So the cultural mapping project is based on the cultural primer in 2017. NCCA is the overall policy making and coordinating agency for culture and the arts. So it has the mandate to undertake a systematic collection of statistical and other data which reflect the state of culture in the arts in the country. So there's also the uh, RA10066 or the National Heritage Act of 2009. So apart from the 1987 uh, constitution, there's also a stature on National Cultural Heritage Act. And this uh, mandates uh, the LGUs or the local government uh, units to establish and maintain the Philippine Registry of Cultural properties. So this must be maintained by LGUs and the cultural mapping would be able to establish the uh, baseline of this database. So for the creative cultural development, so this is an elective course for BA communication uh, students. So during the last semester, second semester of 2019 uh, to 2020, so we have uh, the following courses. So we have COMELEC 4, Creative Cultural Development, and ELS uh, 109, or Introduction to Language, Culture, and Society, and General Education Curriculum 5, or Contemporary World, and a graduate uh, class on foreign language, or advanced uh, foreign language. So for COMELEC 4, we were able to produce at least four uh, episode. So the, four, the first episode is about the Mugpo Cultural uh, Mapping Project with the faculty from the School of Industrial Technology, Sir Ernani Santo Domingo. And the topic is about the food culture and Marinduque and of course the progress of the Cultural Mapping Project in the town of Mugpo. So the following week, we also had an episode for Buena Vista Cultural Mapping Project and their uh, partial output from the said project, uh, a coffee table book about Buena Vista, which was reviewed by Sir Jimbo uh, Fatalia, a uh, scholar from University of Philippines in Baguio. So the title of his presentation is Paglinang sa Kultura, Pamana, Identidad, at Pananaliksik. So basically, juxtaposed the study of culture with heritage, identity, and research. And uh, second to the last uh, episode is about uh, Santa Cruz cultural mapping experience with the uh, administrator of the cultural mapping team, uh, the town councilor Grinesa Constantino, who shared the topic about journey and the status of Santa Cruz cultural mapping. And we finally reached the last episode about Gasan cultural mapping project, along with the uh, uh, lead mapper and the uh, editor, Dr. Rex Asuncion and Sir Tofer Ribishwal, respectively. So they presented the progress and updates of cultural mapping in Gaza. So for the results and discussion, we were able to compile the uh, output from episode one to the last episode. So this is the cover of the communication elective for uh, subject or creative cultural development. So for the first episode, we were able to share the partial results of Sir Hernani Santo Domingo's masteral thesis at the Philippine Women's University entitled Food Culture, the Search for Marinduque's Traditional Cuisine and Delicacies. So according to the creative industry and the culture-based economy model, so there are also UNESCO-designated creative 
cities and one of the category categories is uh, gastronomy so if you want to develop the the town of Mugpug to becoming a creative city then we have to develop the food culture not only of uh, Marinduque but more specifically in the town of Mugpug so right now the progress of the cultural mapping project since they already started in 2018 is still uh, ongoing and they already had the second follow-up visit just last uh, August and they intend to have the community validation by uh, the last quarter of this year. So moving on, uh, we had a particular episode about the town of Buena Vista. So just like Mugpug, in 2018, they had the training of local cultural uh, mappers, but this is during the pre-pandemic era. So it took them a while for them to be able to have a, a progression. So they had uh, decided to just produce a coffee table book sometime in September 2020 in celebration of uh, Marinduque Centennial or 100 years of independence from Quezon. So Sir Jimbo Fatalia, a former uh, faculty member of the School of Business and Management, uh, shared his insight not only about the book or not only about his hometown, Benabisa, but also uh, the status of the cultural or uh, culture studies of Marinduque, if not in Buena Vista. And part of uh, his findings is about the status of the cultural mapping project in Buena Vista. So the third episode corresponding to the town of Santa Cruz. So this is already uh, during the pandemic uh, era, the new normal when we had the training through and through uh, online and uh, uh, conferencing software or platform. So they were able to come up with their complete local culture profile, which they launched uh, last July 21. So they are already through with the community validation and the second and first follow-up visit and the training full online. And the last uh, episode is about the town of Gasan, the cultural nerve center of the uh, province of Marinduque. So the lead mapper, Dr. Rex, shared what it takes to be a cultural mapper. And uh, Sir Toffer, uh, the editor of the uh, cultural mapping project, also shared uh, the progress and the updates about cultural mapping in Gasan. So we reached the end of the presentation. So it's about the conclusion and recommendation. So the status of the cultural mapping uh, project in Marinduque. So out of six towns, we already have four uh, cultural mapping project. One of them has already completed the local culture profile. And one has reached the second follow-up visit and about to have the community validation. So we have the next uh, round of training of local cultural mappers in Torrios and the first town to have a, create, uh, a cultural mapping project in the town center, the center of Marinduque and Bua. Uh, they already have a local ordinance for uh, declaring the heritage zone or heritage district of Bua which ensures cultural education and cultural mapping and the provision to have uh, a museum for the repository of the heritage and culture of Marinduque, not only the town of Buak. So with that, I welcome questions and feedback and your comments as well. So again, thank you to the organizers of Rosette in the Second International uh, conference in Bogor, Indonesia, and from the island of Marinduque in the country of the Philippines. Uh, we thank sincerely our uh, sponsors and benefactors from the uh, 
uh, Marinduque State College and the Vice President for Research, Development, Extension and Training, the School of Arts and Sciences and the Local Government of uh, Mukpug, uh, Buena Vista, Santa Cruz, and Gasa. So take care and keep safe.